Hello from Matter of Trust. In this video, we'll show you how to make a hair mat using your needle felting machine. Each hair mat is made of two scrims, or the base and top layers of your mat, and filler. Each scrim is made of 100 grams of hair 4 inches or longer. Filler is 700 grams of hair, fur, or fleece between 1 and 4 inches long. Use a scale to measure out 100 grams of hair for each scrim. Now that you have your hair for your two scrims, let's measure out 700 grams of hair, fur, or fleece between 1 and 4 inches for the mat filler. We recommend sorting a bunch of hair at once to speed up the process. Now that you have your 700 gram bag of filler, and your two 100 gram bags of hair for the scrims, we're ready to head over to the needle felting machine. Open up one of your 100 gram longer hair bags marked scrim. Lay out longer hair in a thin lacy layer as evenly as possible over an area of 60 centimeters wide by 80 centimeters long. You'll still see plenty of holes through this first layer. Let's talk about safety. The needles are very sharp. Keep your hands at least one inch away from the needles when the machine is plugged in. Any felters under the age of 18 should be supervised. Make sure to sort out debris such as rocks, bobby pins, or rubber bands that you find in the hair before you add it to the mat. Debris in your mat will bend or break the needles, so it's best to sort before you lay out the hair. Now back to felting. Make sure the machine is plugged into a power source. Flip the switches to turn on the needles and start the roller bar. Rotate the dials to adjust the speed of the needles and speed of the bar. Run this layer of hair through the machine. Add another even layer of longer hair over this lacy layer, filling in any gaps you notice. Run the scrim through the machine. Now you're done with your first scrim. Set this aside and open up your other 100 gram bag of longer hair. Repeat all these steps to make your second scrim. So that means lay out your hair, 60 centimeters wide by 80 centimeters long, and run through the machine. Add more hair, and run one more time. Now you have both of your scrims, and it's time to add the filler. Open up your bag of filler. Lay out one of your scrims. Lay out a 60 centimeter by 60 centimeter layer of filler in the center of your scrim filling the area in widthwise, but leaving 10 centimeters of scrim exposed at either end. These extra scrim sections will come in handy soon. Run this through the machine. Fill in any gaps you notice in the filler layer with more filler until you've used all 700 grams. And run through the machine again. Now take those extra 10 centimeter sections and fold them over the other side of the mat to create a finished edge. Run each edge through the machine. Now move your mat aside. Lay out your second scrim. Now take your mat and turn it 90 degrees and flip it over so the finished edges are facing each side and its scrim side up. Place it so that 10 centimeters on each end of the scrim are exposed. Fold these 10 centimeter sections over the edge of the mat to create another finished edge. The mat may lengthen with each run through the machine, so make sure to measure multiple times throughout the process. We want a finished mat of 60 centimeters by 60 centimeters by 2 centimeters. Run both of these edges through the machine. Now all four edges of your mat should be covered by scrims. Run this once more through the machine. There you have it, a hair mat. Please contact us with any questions or ideas. Thank you from all of us at Matter of Trust.